after nearly 500 years, its meaning remains obscure, even to scholars. You asked me here to talk about art, Mr. Ballard. A subject which bores me to tears, except for this particular picture. It was painted in 1533, a period of intense economic unrest in Europe, not unlike today. Some think it was commissioned by a French ambassador, but I believe it was British merchants. Is this supposed to interest me? It should. These merchants felt constrained by their governments who wrote the laws and levied the taxes, so they formed a secret pact. They called it our glass. You see the skull? It's distorted. The artist's way of telling us things are not what they see. Everything in this painting is a clue. A clue to what? Their plot. To concentrate the world's wealth, power and influence into private hands. To undermine the power of governments without arousing the ire of the people. Over the years, these conspirators evolved into five major multinational corporations. It took them five centuries, but they finally succeeded. Even if all this is true, I don't see what it has to do with me. They've spent so much time trying to find you. You obviously pose some kind of a threat. I don't see how. Then you have no idea why they've tried to kill you. <sighs> I had been hoping that you might be what I've been looking for all these years. A way to expose them for what they are. A plague on civilization, bent on destroying it to enrich themselves. You've got the wrong girl, Mr. Ballard. You're going to have to be even more careful now. Rupert Keel knows that our class is interested in you. What's Keel's connection? Three members of the Byzantium Board of Directors are CEOs of our class corporations. Whichever corporation wants you dead doesn't want anyone to know. What is it? Come with me. He's right behind us. You didn't lose him, did you? Not a chance. Stop them. You must stop them. 